In today's video, let's see the regulation for survival craft launching and recovery arrangements. The information in this video is sourced from SOLAS, Chapter 3 Life Saving Appliances and Arrangements, Part B, Requirements for Ships and Life Saving Appliances, Section I Passenger Ships and Cargo Ships, Regulation 16 Survival Craft Launching and Recovery Arrangements. Unless expressly provided otherwise, launching and embarkation appliances complying with the requirements of Section 6.1 of the Code shall be provided for all survival craft except those which are boarded from a position on deck less than 4.5 meters above the waterline in the lightest seagoing condition and which have a mass of not more than 185 kilograms. Boarded from a position on deck less than 4.5 meters above the waterline in the lightest seagoing condition and which are stowed for launching directly from the stoic position under unfavorable conditions of trim of up to 10 degrees and list of up to 20 degrees either way. Carried in excess of the survival craft for 200% of the total number of persons on board the ship and which have a mass of not more than 185 kilograms. Carried in excess of the survival craft for 200% of the total number of persons on board the ship, are stowed for launching directly from the stowed position under unfavorable conditions of trim of up to 10 degrees and list of up to 20 degrees either way. Provided for use in conjunction with a marine evacuation system, complying with the requirements of Section 6.2 of the Code and stowed for launching directly from the stowed position under unfavorable conditions of trim of up to 10 degrees and list of up to 20 degrees either way. Each lifeboat shall be provided with an appliance which is capable of launching and recovering the lifeboat, in addition there shall be provision for hanging off the lifeboat to free the release gear for maintenance. Launching and recovery arrangements shall be such that the appliance operator on the ship is able to observe the survival craft at all times during launching and for lifeboats during recovery. Only one type of release mechanism shall be used for similar survival craft carry. Preparation and handling of survival craft at any one launching station shall not interfere with the prompt preparation and handling of any other survival craft or rescue boat at any other station. Falls were used shall be long enough for the survival craft to reach the water with the ship in its lightest seagoing condition, under unfavorable conditions of trim of up to 10 degrees and list of up to 20 degrees either way. During preparation and launching, the survival craft, its launching appliance, and the area of water into which it is to be launched shall be adequately illuminated by lighting supplied from the emergency source of electrical power required by Regulation 2142 or 2143, as appropriate. Means shall be available to prevent any discharge of water onto survival craft during abandonment. If there is a danger of the survival craft being damaged by the ship's stabilizer wings, means shall be available, powered by an emergency source of energy, to bring a stabilizer of wings and board indicators operated by an emergency source of energy shall be available on the navigating bridge to show the position of the stabilizer wings. If partially enclosed lifeboats complying with the requirements of Section 4.5 of the Code are carried, a David span shall be provided, fitted with not less than two lifelines of sufficient length to reach the water with the ship in its lightest seagoing condition, under unfavorable conditions of trim of up to 10 degrees and list of up 20 degrees either way. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please share with your friends and subscribe to Marinora for more such videos. If you have any queries or comments, drop it in comment box.